Hello and welcome to Bricks Fix. I am your host Bricks here today with a Lego Animal Crossing set review. This is set number 77050, Nook's Cranny and Rosie's House. This set comes in at 535 pieces. It's priced at $74.99 in the US or $99.99 for its Canadian equivalent. It comes with the infamous Mr. Tom Nook and Rosie and also their respective buildings, the Tom Nook Store, the Nook's Cranny and Rosie's House. If you like LEGO set reviews, please consider subscribing to the channel. I put out new videos each and every week and your support really helps the channel to grow so I can bring you more quality content. So for now, let's get this build out here on the table and give you a closer look. Again, another banger of an Animal Crossing LEGO box art. This box art looks fantastic. It's got the two main buildings that come in the set laid out. They are separated there, but you could have them attached if you wanted to. Again, that wonderful customization that LEGO has put into the Animal Crossing sets. I love Tom Nook with that big giant sack in his hand. That is a bag of bells. Bells are the Animal Crossing currency, and Tom Nook is your resident mayor and banker and landlord. So to see a uh, resident walking up there with a coin in her hand for him holding that big sack is... It's it's a cute little shout out and nod to people who know what Tom Nook's all about. Little snapshots along the back here look like little Polaroid pictures laid out giving you a sneak peek of what the set's all about. Now I don't mean to be overly hyperbolic here, but prepare yourselves for cuteness overload. This is the biggest of the five Animal Crossing launch sets, so it stands to reason it should have the most going on. It comes with two buildings. You get Rosie's house there. She's got a cute little bike leaned up against the door. A little tea set out front with a covered umbrella for warm days to keep the sun off of her. And Tom Nook with the Nook's cranny. Amazing. With the figures and all the little extras removed, here are just the two main buildings, Rosie's house on the right and Nook's cranny on the left. I'm going to focus on these in detail one at a time, so let's get Rosie's house out of there and focus our time for now on Nook's cranny. Being a fan of the Animal Crossing video game series, I have spent a lot of time in this store. This is Nook's Cranny, also sometimes referred to as the Nook Shop. Really well done here, it's Lego variant, it looks pretty much like it does in the game, they did a really good job. Two cute things out front there, to the left that is a night drop box, you can put items in there that you want to sell when the store is closed. And to the right side there, that is a bulletin board, you can put notices on there for other residents to see on the island. I really enjoy the awnings above both the big bay windows and that little ticker tape banner above the doors. An extra little splash of color there, it looks really cute. The doors do open outward toward the street like any good retail store should. Let's step inside and have a look at the interior. Now that we're inside, I can tell you with absolute certainty this is very typical to what the inside of the Nook Shop looks like. Tom seems to have a few things on display, a plant, an AM FM radio, a guitar and a bucket in the window. In the other corner there, he's got some tools on display and his little checkout counter there, he's got a bell. That printed coin there element, uh, that is the currency in Animal Crossing, is bells. Next to that is a cash register. And behind where he'd be standing there, that is a display shelf with some cute little things inside. And to, if you really wanted to sort of spread out the square footage of your Nook shop, you could pull that out as well as that little checkout desk. And now all of a sudden, boom, you've doubled the floor plan and given yourself a little bit more space to play. Not taking anything away from that cute little checkout counter, but what I really wanted to focus on was this display shelf. This is pretty accurate to in-game. There's three items in here. One is a printed element tile showing a recipe to make something at a tool bench. That is also fish food in there and a seedlings for planting flowers. Again, all accurate to in-game and those are prints, not stickers. Lego has once again done a really great job making the in-game Animal Crossing house to real life in Lego brick. It is fantastic. The pink door with the dark nougat, I guess, is the door frame there, which I've got the matching window frames up and even the tile work on the roof. And one of my favorite things about the house that is so cute is that sideways facing cloud element to represent smoke coming out of the chimney there. Adorable. The lamp post, all that's brick built and a cute little mailbox out front. You can see the panels around the sides there. You can move these little green tile pieces anywhere you want to set it up any way you want. And speaking of customization, Lego gives you the pink window frames to match that door. So if you want to switch it out, you can put those in. Just another feather in the cap of Lego here showing how customizable these Animal Crossing sets are. Let's open the door and see if Rosie will let us have a peek inside. I really have to hand it to the Lego designers. They are doing a great job making the most of a small space. And that's true for the in game as well. These residence houses are, are not big, but look what they've managed to put in here. A cute little living room setup, a kitchenette setup, and an adorable little bedroom. Look at that patchwork blanket. 
As we push in a little bit closer on her house, we can get a quick peek at her artwork. That is actually a, an LP, an album of KK Slider she's got there on the wall. I angle it here to show you her little kitchenette. She's got a pan on a stovetop and it looks like a cupcake in the oven. Cute little lamp too with a sparkle pink element at her front door beside her little armchair. Beautiful little plant, some fresh flowers maybe that she's picked, and a coffee cup on a nightstand table beside her bed. Maybe that's some more milk or a cup of cocoa before bed. A little treat. A smaller build here away from the bigger buildings is this cute little orange tree. I wanted to show you how these open up again to show you a play feature from actual Animal Crossing the video game. When you shake one of these trees, not only would you maybe get the oranges, but if you continued to shake it, you might get a crafting material item, that being a twig or a stick. Cute little mushroom there too. One last little side build here, and man is this ever cute. A cute little table with a tea service set up, some pastries, and two cushioned stools all underneath a gorgeous little umbrella to keep the sun off on a beautiful day. And here we have the stars of our show, Tom Nook on the left and Rosie on the right. Rosie's little blouse is so cute and it really reminds me of her patchwork quilt on her bed. Tom Nook is wearing the uniform of the Nook Shop. He's even got a little badge there with the Nook Shop logo being that little leaf with the little small little bite taken out of it. And some nice khaki trousers, Tom, looking good. His shirt is great. It's got the, the dual mold printing there showing off. It's a, a short sleeve shirt. Their prints do carry over to the back, but more so what I wanted to show back here was not just the fantastic torso prints, but look at their tails. Tom has his little tanuki tail, and Rosie has her cute little blue cat tail as well. Nook's Cranny and Rosie's house. Wow, two amazing little buildings. I had a lot of fun putting this together. It's gonna make a really great display. Once I get all, all my Animal Crossing sets together, I'm gonna lay out a big Animal Crossing village picturesque set. Stay tuned for that follow-up video. But for now, I mean, getting Tom Nook and Rosie an adorable Animal Crossing denizen was really amazing. I loved the details inside both of these buildings. One complaint, I guess, with this one, it is on the pricier side. It is the biggest of the Animal Crossing Lego sets. And I would have liked to have seen Timmy and Tommy. Those are Tom Nook's little boys that actually run this stop. Uh, this, this shop. Tom himself is actually off in the resident services, the town hall, if you will. He doesn't actually run the store in the most recent game for the Nintendo Switch. So again, it would have been nice to see them. Maybe another little element like this tree here, another tree over here, again, to justify that price would have been great. But otherwise, I was very happy with this set. I had a great time showing it to you today. I hope you had a great time hanging out with me. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel. And hey, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to know what your thoughts and feelings on the set were. Know that you are very appreciated. And until next time, take care.